Hey gamers, Rob with Zboard Gaming here, and we are back with another weapon guide. Today we are looking at the AK-47 Assault Rifle for Modern Warfare. So let's go ahead and get started here. So the AK-47 is unlocked at level 53. It's one of the last weapons you unlock uh, in the game. It has a max level of 68. Uh, we gave it an above average rating. Uh, it's a very good assault rifle, has pretty high damage. Uh, but there's a lot of recoil with it, so it can be tough to control. As far as the camo requirements for the AK-47, it's standard across the assault rifle class, and those requirements are in the bottom left. As far as the base stats, it does 56 damage to the head, 42 to the chest, and 35 to the stomach and limbs. It has a magazine size of 30 bullets and a fairly slow fire rate of 560 RPM. Um, a 300 millisecond ADS speed. And the reload time for the AK-47 is actually fairly fast at 1.17 seconds, and a sleight of hand is under a second at 0.8. All the attachments are listed out here in the upper right hand with all of the unlock levels. And if you want to go through these in more detail, uh, visit our website, zboardgaming.com. I'll have a link in the description below to the infographics, so you can go straight to the page and check out these in more detail. We also have a few loadout suggestions here, so you can take a look at those for the AK-47. Um, a balanced setup, one if you want to sort of mirror that AK-74U style. Um, a mid-long range setup, and then we also have a run and gun setup. We also have a handful of additional loadouts uh, after we've done some recoil testing later in the video, so go ahead and stick around for those as well. So as far as some of the advanced statistics here in the middle, uh, there is only one drop-off range for the AK-47, and that is at 28 meters, um, unless you equip those 5.45 rounds, and we'll get to that here in a second. So at that drop-off range, um, it's 56 or 51, so it's always a two-shot head, headshot kill. Uh, it's always three to the chest and either three or four shots to the stomach and limbs. And in hardcore modes, the AK-47 is always a one-shot kill. As far as the movement speed, uh, it's 93% and 45% for the ADS strafe speed. Um, the recoil, like I said, has a very strong upwards kick, and we'll show you that here in a few minutes. And the spring out times is 267 milliseconds standard and 400 super tactical, which is fairly common for most of the assault rifles. If you are looking to equip those 5.45 rounds, note that not only does the damage for the gun change, but also the ranges. So this actually is more of a SMG style. Um, it increases that fire rate from 560 up to 690, and it actually comes with a whole handful of drop-off ranges. So instead of just having the one range at 28 meters, the first drop-off is now at 17 and a half, 25 and a half, 35, then anything over 35 meters. So be aware of that. That does change the amount of damage you do uh, for this weapon. As far as these specialized AK-47 attachments, it has a whole bunch of barrels here. It has the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel, which does a 20% damage range increase and limits your ADS speed by one frame. The RPK Barrel and the Romanian Barrel are very similar. Um, a 30 and a 35% range increase. ADS speeds are close with the uh, Romanian offering one extra frame slower. The one difference with the Romanian barrel is that if you equip this barrel, it does block out that under barrel attachment. So keep that in mind, but it does offer you quite good recoil control. And I'll show you the difference between the two here in a minute. Um, as far as the 8.1 inch compact barrel, you do get some faster ADS and movement speed, uh, but it comes with the penalties of a worse recoil pattern and a 20% damage range penalty for your bullet velocity. The skeleton stock will help you um, aim down sight two frames faster, as well as you will, when you're aiming, your strafe speed will be 15% faster. You lose a little bit on your aim stability. So again, I highly re recommend that skeleton stock. It's a good attachment for this weapon. Uh, the ammo, you have two different types, the 40 round mags and the 75. Um, ADS speeds, uh, you lose one frame with the 40 and two with the 75 round drum, but keep in mind if you equip that 75 round drum, it comes with a 9% slower movement speed. 
So that makes you very, very slow, worse than most of the LMGs in the game. So if we look at all the attachments here, which affect your aim down sight speed, uh, we have them all listed out here. Feel free to pause the video if you want. Um, I'll only touch on the ones here that uh, help you ADS quicker, and that's a stipple grip, the 8.1 inch compact barrel, the tack laser, the no stock skeleton stock, and FSS close quarters. Um, all of those attachments I just listed out here help you ADS faster. Um, everything else listed here will slow your ADS speed down a little bit. Um, the slowest being either the 23 inch Romanian barrel at four frames or anything thermal, night vision, sniper, variable zoom scopes, etc. All also with a four or five speed uh, frame slower. As far as your recoil control, uh, listed out here are a handful of attachments that all either affect, affect your recoil stabilization, your recoil control, or your aim stability. Now the stabilization will help with some of that side-to-side -side bounce if, as you're shooting the weapon. The recoil control will minimize some of that first kick vertical recoil, and your aim stability will help with your idle sway. So again here you can see there's a variety of attachments you can equip to help with that recoil control. And I'll show you how much effect they all have here on the next few slides. So if you're looking for damage and you want to compare the 545 ammo rounds versus the base ammo, uh, we have these listed out here for uh, hardcore, uh, multiplayer, and warzone if your enemy is at 100 health, or if you're going up against a fully armored enemy in warzone. So you can see here between the two ammo ranges, basically your shots to kill are the same for everything except for chest shots on a fully armored target in war zone. With the 5.45 ammo, it is going to take you uh, one extra shot. Uh, you will have a faster time to kill with the 5.45 ammo in most cases due to the fact that it has a faster RPM. Um, but keep in mind that, you know, for the most part, the amount of shots it's going to take to kill are going to be pretty much identical regardless of the ammo you're running but that time to kill will vary a little bit. The other important thing to note here too though is that that base ammo range, base damage range uh, is much more for the base ammo than it is for the 545, which means 545 in order to get this profile here, you'll have to be a lot closer to your enemy. And sometimes that always isn't the case in war zone, so keep that in mind. So, uh, recoil testing, we did all this on Candor Hideout. Most of this data you see here is what I had just on the prior screen. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and pause it here, check that out. Um, as far as the amount of idle sway, you'll be able to see that here. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of idle sway at 25 meters. You can see it's quite slow. Uh, I have the VLK 3.0X optic on here. As far as ADS speed, you can see it's a uh, I, now keep in mind I do have the VLK optic which adds about a frame. And you can see the recoil pattern here has that strong vertical recoil kick and we'll look at that here in more detail. So here is the base recoil pattern with the AK-47. Um, the base ammo is listed on the left and the 5.45 rounds are on the right. You can see that uh, it's a fairly vertical pattern with a lot of side to side jump. Um, that 5.45 rounds does result in a little bit more vertical recoil, but on the whole, it isn't a whole lot different from the base recoil pattern. So, even though this says it gives you better recoil, uh, it doesn't actually show that that's the case. Now, keep in mind, this is a 25 meter test. Uh, fire rate is higher, but really, when it says it gives you better recoil, don't necessarily believe the type here. Plus, you lose that damage and the range. So, if we go ahead and look at the muzzle attachments here, we have the base recoil pattern on the left. You can see that both the muzzle brake and the compensator look to help that overall vertical recoil. Um, you can see the compensator definitely had a nice effect here. You still get some of that side-to-side -side jump, but your first five bullets are in a pretty tight range right here around the X, whereas your fifth bullet on the base pattern is all the way up here. So, it would have been in this range. So, you can see with the compensator, you get about... Uh, 10 bullets in the same uh, vertical distance that you do is about 5 on the base recoil. 
So definitely look at running the compensator with the AK-47. It will really help with that vertical recoil. If we go ahead and look at some of the barrel attachments here, again, I've got the base recoil on the left. Um, the 23-inch RPK barrel, you can see, does cut some of that vertical recoil out, and it also appears to cut out some of that side-to-side -side jump, uh, which is good, and it, plus it comes with a 30% damage range increase, so you'll get this damage out to 35 meters. Now keep in mind, these three bullets here are pretty much enough to kill any enemy uh, within that 35 meters, um, so this helps with a lot of good recoil control, so consider using this. The 8.1 inch compact you can see here does uh, have that negative effect of the recoil control. You also lose 20% on your damage range. And you can see here that it jumps around quite a bit just like the base recoil. So there is a little bit worse recoil here. The 23 inch Romanian barrel you can see that the first two bullets were pretty much right on top of each other. Which means if, if you can hit both of those a headshot with this barrel you will pretty much uh, it, Essentially, it'll be a one-shot kill uh, because those first two barrel, first two bullets with this barrel typically go right back, back to back of each other, and then you start to get some of that jump. Uh, you also get a little bit extra damage over the RPK barrel by about two meters. So definitely take a look at those, but keep in mind those come with that ADSM movement speed penalties. So if we take a look at the rear grip, the rubberized grip tape, as well as the no stock attachment. Um, the rubberized grip is supposed to help with your recoil control. What you can see here is it actually looks to help a lot with your recoil stabilization. I don't know if this is an error in the game, uh, but I have found that consistently the rubberized grip actually really seems to help with a lot of your side to side, um, as opposed to as much of the vertical recoil. Um, so you can see here you have a pretty nice straight linear pattern. You don't get as much of that side-to-side -side bounce. With the no-stock attachment, you can see you do lose some of that vertical recoil control, and it still jumps around quite a bit. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're going for that additional movement speed and ADS. Um, it does affect your recoil quite negatively here. Okay, we went ahead and took a look at the underbarrel attachments now, and you can see here that most all the underbarrels uh, did have a pretty positive effect on your recoil. That tactical foregrip, uh, it jumps around quite a bit side to side. Uh, again, you're only really getting aim stability with this. Um, even though it says there is no recoil control, you can see though that it did have a fairly substantial 20% overall decrease in the amount of recoil. Uh, which was sort of surprising here because it does not say recoil control in the description. The commando foregrip you can see does cut a little bit of the side to side out and some of the total vertical recoil which is good. And then your bipod also helps with some of that crouch and prone. So your crouch recoil profile is here in the orange and your prone is in the yellow. So if you're looking to crouch or prone a lot, go ahead and equip that bipod. You will get some better recoil properties with it. So um, the last group is we wanted to look at the stick grips, the stick underbarrels as I call them, this group too. So you have the Merc foregrip, the Operator foregrip, and the Ranger foregrip. You can see here that these just sort of compressed the pattern a little bit um, for that vertical recoil control. On the whole though, side to side still looks about the same. So we decided to take a look at a few loadouts here, and the first one we wanted to take a look at was a balanced loadout with a 5.45 ammo. So you can see we got a fairly nice just straight vertical recoil pattern here. Um, about four or five bullets all right here around your target. And the loadout we had here was that VLK optic, the 23 inch RPK barrel, Ranger foregrip, the 5.45 ammo, and that rubberized grip tape. The next build we tried to go for was the best recoil and accuracy build we uh, I thought we could build. Uh, and you can see here we definitely got that. This was the lowest total vertical recoil we got. We had four bullets right on target, uh, but this is going to be a much slower build. We had the compensator, that Romanian barrel, the field LMG stock, the granulated grip. And in this case, you can modify whichever optic you want. Uh, I just had the 3.0x optic because this is probably more of a mid-range uh, build. I then looked at just a fairly balanced build that had a good blend of 
ADS speed, mobility, as well as recoil control. And you can see here, the base recoil pattern is typically up here. So this did cut about 20% out. We got two bullets right on target, and it's a pretty straight vertical pattern. So on the whole, this is a good solid, solid balance build if you want to run that. Last thing I did here was I tested the fastest possible ADS speed and mobility build I could do. And this was running the monolithic suppressor because I wanted to get a little damage and stealth. Put that 8.1 inch compact barrel, the 5.45 ammo, the stipple grip, and the skeleton stock. And you can see here that we got a substantial amount of recoil. This would be very difficult to use at anything but very close quarters. Um, and with only a 690 RPM fire rate, you will most likely be outclassed by all the SMGs and assault li other assault rifles uh, for the most part in the game. So you, you can go ahead and try to run a fast ADS mobility build with the AK-47, but in reality, uh, I think one of these builds over here will probably shine better for this build. So these are the suggested loadouts I had. Definitely take a look at that 5.45 balance build if you want to run that. It has a very good blend overall um, of the accuracy, range, fire rate. You do lose a little mobility. Um, and feel again, feel free to swap out the optic if you want to go no optic or like a reflex sight. Next thing is that balance build. This should be a nice solid build for, let's say, Warzone or just standard multiplayer. Um, so keep, keep this one in mind. <clears throat> then the last thing I've put for you here is a really fun build. I call this the hack and slash build. So this wouldn't be a good weapon guide if I didn't mention the bayonet. Uh, it's a unique attachment that is only on the AK-47. Uh, this is a really fun build to run around close quarters and just hack and slash uh, your enemies to death. Uh, I've paired this with the riot shield, and you can be a royal pain in the butt to your enemies. Uh, with that bayonet on there and that fast melee, um, with a double time perk, the riot shield, uh, this is a lot of fun to do, especially on shipment, just running around crazy, hacking people to death. So definitely, if you're interested, take a look at this build. Uh, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. So with that, that's everything we had for you in today's weapon guide. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we gave you some loadout ideas, a whole bunch of information on the AK-47, and I hope that helps you uh, craft some better builds. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell. Uh, we'll have another weapon guide coming out soon. Thanks.